Okay, certain social media platforms are no longer artist-friendly. I'm talking the recent meta-AI stuff and the art station being pro-AI art. If there's anything I may have missed, please let me know in the comments. In my last year of high school, I was instructed by my digital arts teacher, as well as two of my cousins who are professionals in the game art field, to start an art station account in order to build a portfolio and connect with other professionals and companies. And I did. I have not been posting as frequently there as I do with any of my other social media platforms, as it has a user base made of primarily artists. So it's noticeably more difficult to gain any type of exposure there compared to my other platforms. And I imagine that the same can be said about Kara. Kara is an alternative to ArtStation. I learned of its existence while learning about Glaze and Nightshade. The process for posting anything is very similar to Twitter, but the homepage, on computer at least, and its main function is basically ArtStation but with Glaze built into the site. From my artist friends and also random artists making videos on Kara, their main concerns are the user base, as most commissions and such come from non-artists. And with Kara being marketed towards artists as well as being relatively new and still in beta, relying solely on it for business opportunities is less than ideal in its current stage. But Kara is, in my opinion, much more friendly towards smaller artists who may not be professionals looking for work all the time. You can still build a portfolio, but now you don't have to openly dox yourself, which is the main reason why I never advertise my account anywhere else. In its current stage, it also feels less intimidating to post on the site. Anyone who's visited ArtStation before will probably agree when I say that it's easy to feel inferior to everyone else on there. But in the couple minutes I've spent on Kara and from all the footage I've seen in videos about Kara, the community has been very supportive and there seems to be less pressure to produce industry standard stuff like what can commonly be found on ArtStation. Also, this is a bit of a side tangent, but since joining ArtStation, I've gotten several scam emails titled Inquiry via ArtStation, and I've had one asking me to make this lady's wedding invitations with this portfolio. All of these scams seem to point towards using my art as NFTs. I've recently also gotten a notification that someone who followed me on ArtStation was in fact an NFT collector. So now I have to worry about both AI and NFT trading on ArtStation. Great. Right. I should probably explain why AI art would be such an issue on ArtStation. From one video about Kara, an artist explained why it was becoming such a popular site among artists. From the person who started it to the Glaze implementation. But they also explained that ArtStation had been bought over by Epic Games, which for some reason made it pro-AI art. While there does seem to be a way to opt out of your art being used, by including the no AI tag in all of your posts, I don't think I can trust it now that Meta has made opting out of scraping so convoluted. Speaking of Meta, Meta owns both Facebook and Instagram and has very recently announced that it has been scraping data from all of its users to train their text-to-image AI. The process to opt out of this is incredibly difficult to do being hard to find and even requiring you to include a screenshot of your data showing up in something AI generated. And even after going through all of those hurdles, opting out will only save any of your future posts and data from being used. Yeah, my 143 posts that I've made in the two years I've been on Instagram all of that has likely already been scraped for Meta's little AI sugar baby. I can't exactly abandon Instagram though, I've built a large history of posts that I really don't want to delete. Also, because I don't have a personal Instagram account. My art account is my only connection with people that I've met through school, some of my old teachers, friends, and even relatives. There have also been some incredibly sweet people who my main connection with is through Instagram, as well as those who just unconditionally support me there. The main route I've heard a lot of people taking seems to be staying on Instagram, Twitter, etc., and posting primarily laced work while joining platforms like Kara and 
I know this is out of the blue, but unveil for their pro artist values. So, if you're in a digital arts class and have been told I was a former student of your teacher, consider joining Kara and or look into using glaze and nightshade. Interjection. I haven't even gotten into editing this video at all, but I've already seen a video talking about allegations against Kara using AI. To anyone who may bring this up as a possible counter argument, I will say the video I watched did some research into the matter and even included Kara's response to the whole situation. And basically, Kara has a contract with a company called Hive, which uses AI to detect AI. Basically what your teachers do to make sure ChatGPT isn't writing all of your essays. And another quick note, I am not telling anyone to go join Kara or to use Nightshade or Glaze, I am simply recommending them to you with the intensity of my personality. At the end of the day, I can't force you to do anything, and you aren't required to do anything as a viewer of this video. The resources and all the links to the videos I've seen so far on the subject are included in the description if, and only if, you want to check them out. Please keep in mind all of what I'm saying is secondhand information and this video is not meant to bring up an argument or educate anyone. I simply want to rant. It's even in the title of the script. <laughs> I don't think I can include a tidbit at the end of the video either, but please keep your comments mature and nice. I know we can get a little heated, but let's not resort to using fallacies just to win internet arguments. Thank you. I will say that Glaze and Nightshade Though they use some of the same resources, are both on the heavier side for file size. When running these programs, they take up a lot of resources on your computer, so don't even think of opening a web browser or doing anything on your computer while they're working. If you use both, it's recommended to run Nightshade first before feeding it through Glaze, and the result will be different for each artwork, especially if you have a wide range of styles that you work in, like me. I've noticed that Nightshade on the lowest level seems to be much more visible than Glaze on the default level, though I am comparing two works that are pretty different from each other, and the two programs are at different phases of development as far as I'm aware. Alright, I think that's everything out of my system for now. I'll be including links to Kara, Glaze, and Nightshade in the description, as well as my other platforms so you can see mess in real time. Thank you for watching, and again, if there's anything I got wrong or haven't heard of that could change my entire argument, please include it in the comments. Goodbye.